It is Andy with the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog. Today I have a copy of Ty Siegel's 2022 album, Hello Hi. In this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the album and my thoughts on it. But first, a quick rundown on Hello Hi. The album was released on July 22 of 2022 on Ty Siegel's longtime label, Drag City. The album cover. I love this. It is just simply Ty Siegel sitting in a tree with an acoustic guitar. To me, says that it's probably going to be a little bit more acoustic than a lot of his other stuff. And it is, which I'll talk about soon. You have a hype sticker for Ty Siegel up there and a similar image on the back. This is a nice thick cardboard sleeve, which I appreciate. And I think it looks great. It's very minimal. It's black and white. You've got the hype sticker, which matches the printed inner sleeve, which replaces the need to have any other kind of insert. On one side, you have all of the lyrics, handwritten and printed on this kind of nice mustardy colored paper. On the flip side is yet another black and white photograph with a bird. I wonder if that's a seagull. And the wax itself. It is nice, thick. This looks and feels like 180 gram vinyl. It is very nice and crisp. The edge is just nice and clean. It doesn't have that kind of rounded bevel to it that a lot of records have, which I kind of like. It just screams quality to me. And of course the labels, nicely printed, also harken back to that mustardy yellow color. I love albums that bring everything together cohesively. Black and white, simple black wax. You've got the mustard colored labels, mustard, mustard. It all just works nice and cohesively. This is the only pressing of this album on vinyl, which in a sense is kind of refreshing. It's just one version. You don't have to worry about, do I want to get the this color or that color or whatnot? Find the indie exclusive or this retailer exclusive or some limited pressing of this or that. It's just one version and it makes it just nice and easy. You want the album or you don't. There you go. You know which one to get because there's only one. Let's talk a little bit about my thoughts on the album. Ty Siegel is really one of the most prolific artists out there today. In fact, the only artist that I can think of that is more prolific than he is is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, which aside from having a really fun name, puts out an astronomical number of albums pretty much each year and has been doing so consistently year after year for quite a while now. Ty Siegel, in a similar vein, has put out at least one album a year, pretty much one studio album, if not more, for probably over a decade. Sure, there's probably a year here and there where he misses it by a couple months or so, but overall it's pretty much like clockwork. What immediately drew me to this one in particular was the song Don't Lie. If we take a trip all the way back to 2010, January of 2010 in particular, I discovered a band and checked out their debut album for the first time, which was released the year prior, and immediately I was so disappointed because I knew it would be my number one album of 2009. That was The Mantles and their self-titled debut album, The Mantles. On that album is a song called Don't Lie. Ty Siegel covers it here and it is brilliant. It blends everything I loved about Don't Lie, the original Mantles version, with Ty Siegel's sound and, and hell, let's throw in some influence by 
Mark Bolin in Tyrannosaurus Rex. One thing I love about Ty Siegel is that he kind of defies pigeonholing him into a specific sound. And once again, you hear that here. It's a lot more acoustic than a lot of his other stuff, like Emotional Mugger and Freedom's Goblin and Twins. And hell, you could name off 80% of Ty Siegel's albums and you could find them quite different from this one right here, including his 2021 album Harmonizer. So with Hello High, you get something that's a lot more along the lines of his 2013 album Sleeper. There are elements where he does weave in and go all out with some electric guitars, which I think really was something that was missing from Sleeper as much as I love that album. But overall, it's predominantly acoustic leaning. And I really like it when Ty Siegel strips things down and gets a little bit more raw. I believe with the more acoustic side of Ty Siegel, he finds himself in a little bit more of an emotional state, which I tend to enjoy. I'm such a Virgo. So Hello High was recorded at Ty Siegel's brand new Harmonizer Studios, which he built as a workspace in his home in California. So with Hello High and with Harmonizer before, it almost seems to me at least that you hear something that's a little bit more personal and maybe that's the reason why. He's in his own space, midst of COVID, kind of doing his own thing in his home. And that change in setting might set it apart a little bit from some of his other stuff. So aside from Don't Lie, which I talked about earlier being really what drew me into this album and remains my favorite song on it, there's a lot of good stuff here. He opens it up with Good Morning, which is really good. And then you've got the title track, Hello High, which is one of those that pulls in a lot more guitar a lot more electric guitar to be specific. And it really brings that forward as a standout track on the album. And of course, on the B side after Don't Lie, you've got Saturday Part 1 and Saturday Part 2, and both of those have really good hooks. The album overall, I think, has a lot of really high points to it. And for that, I love it. I don't really know where it would fall in the midst of all of the Ty Siegel albums I have in my collection over there, but I think it stands and sits kind of on a pedestal of its own simply because it is so different aside from, say, Sleeper. So with that, if you tend to like artists that do have a lot heavier sound and then on an album pull things back, strip things down, go a little bit more acoustic, this album is going to be something that you like. And for the Ty Siegel completist, I hope that the acoustic doesn't throw you off because I think the acoustic elements really show how well-rounded an artist like Ty Siegel is. You've got the really, really hard, heavy stuff. I mean, take a song like Feel. I, I just love that song. There's such strength to it. And then you pull it all the way back to something like this. Ah, it just... It's so refreshing to hear that range in an artist, especially someone like Ty Siegel, who you come to really enjoy that loud side, and now you can really enjoy the soft side as well. Down in the description, you will find a link to where you can pick up this album for yourself. I'll have a lot more coming from Ty Siegel in the coming weeks and months, as I got quite a bit of it in my collection. So don't forget to like and subscribe because all of that is coming soon with more album reviews and or unboxing videos. And I'll see you next time. Waffles? What are you doing? Oh, you are being a brat.